สวัสดีค่ะ For this video, we are going to look at the relationship between the equilibrium constant and the chemical reaction. From the definition of equilibrium constant, we have to take a specific pattern of chemical equation. For example, for this one, we have A, B as reactant and C, D as product. The expression for Kc is written as shown here. We have to put the concentration of product on top and concentration of reactant below, all raised to the power of stoichiometry coefficient. Remember, this bracket, square bracket, are used to show the concentration in molarities. Let's think about when we change the pattern of chemical equation. If we take CD as the reactant and AB as the product instead, you can imagine already that the expression for Kc would be changed as well. So if you modify the chemical equation, the K is modified too. The chemical equation may be modified as reverse chemical equation, or you may change the stoichiometric coefficient, or we can combine or add chemical reactions together to get the new one, and the K must look different as well. However, the new K would be in relationship to the old one before modified. Let's see. This is the summary of the K after we modify chemical reaction. This is the value of K for each type of reaction. If we start with a reaction like this, A, B as reactant and C, D are products. Give this reaction K, C. If we reverse the previous equation and it's become like this, at this moment C, D are our reactant and A, B are our product instead. The K for this reverse reaction in comparison to the previous one, which is just the reverse of one another, the Kc for the reverse reaction would be the inward value of the previous one. So the reverse reaction would have Kc equal to 1 over Kc. If we multiply the original equation by any factor n. So the stoichiometry coefficient has been changed from A become Na, Nb, Nc, and Nd. The new K in related to the old one would be Kc raised to the power of that factor that is multiplied by. Okay? The last one, if we add reactions together, say here we have two reactions with Kc1 and Kc2. The final reaction would have the Kc equal to the multiplication of Kc1 and Kc2. Okay, this is the summary of what is the Kc relationship between the unmodified and modified equations. Let's see the example of each case. Case number one, if we reverse chemical equation, let's see here, starting with nitrogen monoxide, react with oxygen to give nitrogen dioxide. And this KC1 is product on top raised to the power of stoichiometry coefficient and all the reactant below. If we reverse this reaction and it become the reaction shown here, now nitrogen dioxide is the 
reactant and the concentration would be down here. In comparison between Kc1 and Kc2, you can see that Kc2 is equal to that of the inward of the Kc1. So in conclusion, if we reverse the equation, we invert the equilibrium constant. Case number two, if we change the stoichiometric coefficient of the equation, if we start with the Kc2 from the previous slide, and we multiply the equation by half. Now the stoichiometric coefficient change to one, one and half. Obviously, the Kc3 would look like this. Now if you compare Kc3 to that of the Kc2, you can see that Kc3 is equal to Kc2 raised to the power of half. That is the number that you use to multiply the stoichiometric coefficient. So in conclusion, if we multiply equation by the factor n, k is raised to the power n. The last case, if we add chemical reactions together, let's have a look at these two equations. Equation 1 has Kc1 as shown here. If we have the second equation that has Kc2 equal to this value. Now if we add these two reactions together, we will get the reaction that look like this. Remember when you add reactions together, the same substance on opposite side of the arrow has to be cancelled out. It has the same number of mole, two mole and two mole. So you cancel them out. What you have left is this one down here and oxygen here are on the same side. So you make the summation of stoichiometric coefficient half plus one become uh, three half. Okay, and this one is your product. If you look at this equation alone, you can get the expression for Kc, give it Kc3, would look like this. Now compare Kc3 to that of Kc1 and Kc2. You would get this relationship. Kc3 would be equal to Kc1 multiplied by Kc2. Okay. This is Kc1, this is Kc2, this is the same, so you cancel them out. This is your result as the Kc3. So if we add equation together, we multiply the K of the original chemical equation. So in summary, an equilibrium constant expression, or K, depends on exactly how the chemical equation for a reaction is written. So if you reverse the equation, the equilibrium constant is inward. If you multiply equation by any factor n, the new K is raised to the power n. If we add equations together, the final result of the k would be the multiplication of all the k values. So hopefully you understand how to write k for the modified equation. I see you next time. สวัสดีค่ะ